A car crashed right into a store after a high-speed police chase. New at 5, Fox 5's Kim Leffler spoke with the owner of Little's Food Store about what happened and how the neighborhood is helping them to clean up. Littles has been a staple here in Cabbage Town for decades. The owner tells me he's just thankful the damage wasn't worse. It was around 1.30 Sunday morning when Brad Kennard, the owner of Littles Food Store, got a call that a car hit his business. I was pretty shook up. I'll be honest with you, this, this building is important to me and I think it's important to Atlanta. According to the Georgia State Patrol, a trooper tried to stop a car from speeding on I-20 West. The driver took off, turning north on Boulevard and then heading onto Carroll Street. The car hit several parked cars and businesses there, including Littles, before the driver and passenger took off. Authorities say that driver has been identified. First thing that I was thinking when I saw the accident, I can't believe this has happened again. This is a second one, second high speed type of accident in the last month. Littles has been around since 1929, ran out of this building for decades. Kennard says the crash took out a bench out front, damaged the doors, and knocked out some bricks in the corner of the wall. A neighbor is helping them get that repaired. The doors I was really worried about because those are historic doors to me. They're solid. Those doors are absolutely solid and they managed to survive. This is, you know, one of the last bits of old Atlanta left and I want to help make it stay here. So if the building had been shaken to where we could potentially lose a wall or have it crash down, that was going to be devastating. Jen Chan's down the street from here will be holding a fundraiser Wednesday night to help out with any additional repair costs. For more information, head to our website, fox5atlanta.com. In Cabbage Town, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News.